Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kirk Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Carl Frotch, Derek Chisora, Joe Joyce. Get this. Carl Frotch has huge warning for Derek Chisora ahead of the Joe Joyce fight. Of course, we know yesterday it was announced that yesterday, on yesterday, British heavyweight veteran Derek Chisora will be fighting Joe Joyce in the summer, and Carl Frotch has served up a warning, okay? And... And this is what he had to say. He says, quote, I'm not interested in watching Derek Chisora fight, fight ever again. I can't believe he's still fighting, to be honest. It's at a stage now where it's dangerous for him. Boxing already is dangerous, but now at this stage in his career, it's really dangerous. He needs to take advice from people close to him and that advice advise him that he should be no more punches to the head. Okay. You can be fit and strong and have a healthy diet and deal with the traumas of fighting in your 20s and early 30s. But if you keep going and keep going for too long, you're taking too many punches to the head and it can leave you with devastating ramifications, brain damage, and death happens in a boxing ring. And let me counterpunch. Um, Derek Chisora is uh, is a veteran. We know Derek Chisora is a guy that he, you know, he's he's do or die. I mean, he gives everything in the ring. Um, I think he's accustomed to it. He's forty years old, bro. You know what I mean? I didn't know he was that old. I didn't think he. I thought he was thirty eight. Yeah, he was thirty eight a couple years ago. And you know. <clears throat> And for him still fighting, I think it's just something now that he likes to do. It would be a difference if he was fighting somebody that was his age. You know what I mean? But even 40, taking punches, you know, with the fights that he's had, bro, he's had a lot of fights. You know what I mean? Like, you have Derek Jasor. He's a guy that, that's that been in there with so many different people. You know, you have. He's going to take on Joe Joyce. He's been in there twice with Dillian White. He's been in there twice with Joseph Parker. He's been in there with Tyson Fury three times. He's been in there with all types of people, bro. Let's just be real. He's been in there with the bulk of the heavyweight division. I mean the bulk, not everyone. He's, he's not been in there with Joshua. He ain't been in there with Wilder. But he's been in there with Usyk. He's been in there with Tyson. He's been in there with all of these different types of fighters, man. You know what I mean? Um... And I know he loves money and I know he likes to make money, but it has to be another way to make money at his age. That's why I was happy for him when he went over to Saudi Arabia and became tight with uh, Turkey Alashik and company, you know, um, those guys, because he was still getting a check. He was commentating. How about training? He could do that. You know what I mean? Especially with a guy that doesn't really have a whole lot of skill, but a lot of power and a lot of heart. And he can, he can, you know, he could see that and check that out. But Derek Chisora, you know, I agree with Carl Frotch. I, I didn't, I didn't want to see it. I don't want to see him hurt. But I like Derek Chisora. I think he's a, he's a warlord. You know, he's a gate. He was a sturdy gatekeeper. Now he's just a gatekeeper. <laughs> but fighting someone like Joe Joyce, bro, a, a person like that, that doesn't hit tremendously hard, but round after round, he gives you blows and punishment and fights and punches and bunches and that damage, accumulative of damage on top of damage, on top of damage, round after round. Those would be the type of fights that causes you to die in the ring or right after. Okay, because Joe Joyce doesn't quit. If you don't knock him spark out, we've learned that about Joe Joyce. He's just going to beat you until he beats you down or beat you into submission. He's only going to knock you out by the uh, by the punches landed by in, in, in or you quit. I mean, he doesn't quit. You got to make him quit. So since you make him quit, that's what it is. And I don't think Derek Chisora has it. He has a gas tank like Zeely Zane. He just doesn't hit as hard and he's not that accurate. OK, so I think if anything, I think at the end of the day, um, Carl is right, but what are you going to do? You can't tell a grown-ass man something, you know, but I do agree with Carl Frotch. He shouldn't be fighting because nobody wants to see some kind of tragedy takes place when 
He just could have said no to the purse that they were giving him and been satisfied with that commentation money. But you guys tell me what you think of Carl the Cobra Fraud stating that he does not desire Derek Chisora to fight ever again. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.